Okay, so let's have a quick read of this. Uh, the standard rate of income tax is 20% and the higher rate is 42%. Sheila has tax credits of 2,700 for the year and a standard rate cutoff point of 22,000. She also has a gross income of 45,000 for the year. Calculate the total tax payable by Sheila for the year. Now, there are various ways of doing this question, but the one I tend to go for is, I suppose you could, might call it the book, bookkeeping method, uh, where you label each, each uh, amount that you put in. For example, here it starts with the standard tax at 20%, which is 20% of the standard rate cutoff point, which is 22,000. Now, this person is earning 45,000, but what that means, the standard rate cutoff point, it's... Up to 22,000 of earnings, that person must pay 20% tax. So this person has to pay 20% of 22,000 as they earn more than that amount. So you work that out by multiplying uh, 22,000 by 0 0.2 to get 4,400. Then you need to work out the higher tax at 42%. But the question is 42% of what exactly? Well, we've already paid tax on the 22,000, so what we really want to do is find the difference between 22,000 and 45,000. So the remainder of income, basically, so that would be 23,000. So it's on this amount that we uh, work out the higher tax. So what I would do there is maybe work it out in my workbook like this. So we multiply 0.42 by 23,000, 0.42 is the equivalent of 42%, and 23,000 is the difference between the gross income and the standard rate cutoff point. So if we multiply that out, we get 9,660. I would then put this answer into my calculations here. So if we add these two together, we got, get what's called the gross tax. So the gross tax is 14,060. Now again, a good reason why you should adopt this way of doing things is that every time you have to write down what each amount means that means you you, you start to remember what each of the terms mean because you may get a question find the gross tax and then if you're not really clear on what the gross tax is which you may not be if you're not used to using this method uh, then you're in trouble right so you want to write the write down these terms as many times as you can so at the moment it looks like Sheila has to pay that much tax but it's called the gross tax for a reason, when usually when you call something gross, that means you're going to take something away from it. And what we take away from it is the tax credit. So everybody gets a certain tax credit. Uh, she gets 2700 So we can take that away from the tax that we owe. So we end up having to pay a net tax of 11360 And that answers the question, the tax payable is 11360 so part two tells us that Tony pays tax at the same rate as Sheila and he has tax credits of 2,900 for the year and has the same standard rate cutoff point as Sheila. His total tax payable amounts to 13,680 for the year. Calculate Tony's gross income for the year. So uh, this kind of question is a very typical question. Uh, the details here resemble these details uh, very closely. And usually the way to, to deal with these, well, the way I favor how to do these is simply to copy the layout of this one, copy it over here and fill in anything that you know and leave everything else blank. So now we know, first of all, that the tax payable is 13,680 here, which is much bigger than the 11,360 for Sheila. So that tells us that the, uh, Tony is probably earning much more money than Sheila and for that reason we know that the, he's going to have to pay the full 22,000 worth of standard tax as well so it's going to be the same the first value here is going to be the same as for Sheila it's going to be 20% of 22,000 which is 4,400 so then I would just copy this down the higher tax we don't really know what that is so just leave it blank uh, because we don't know what the gross income is we can't really work that out yet uh, we don't know what the gross tax because we don't know what the higher tax is. Uh, we do know the tax credits is 2,900, so we can put that in. And we do not know that the net tax at the end is 13,680. And the key here now is to work your way backwards to find out what the higher tax is. So 
If you take 2,900 from a number to get this, then if you add this number to this number, you should get this number here. So 13,680 plus 2,900 should give you the gross tax. So this comes to 16,580. And, and now we know if we add 4,400 to the higher tax, we get 16,580. So to get the higher tax, we simply take 4,400 from this number. So if you work that out in your calculator, you get 12,180. So now we know the higher tax is 12,180. Now if you remember, for Sheila, to calculate the higher tax, what we did was we got the difference between the gross income and the standard rate cutoff point and then got 42% of that. So that must mean that this figure here is 42% of the difference between Tony's gross income and the standard rate cutoff point of 22,000. So if we want to find out this amount, all we have to do is divide this figure by 0.42. Now if you're not sure where I got that from, uh, you can think of it as an equation. 0.42 of this amount, the difference between Tony's gross income and the standard rate cutoff point, 0.42 of that has to equal 12,180. In other words, 42% of that amount is equal to 12,180. So if we use, if we treat this as, as an equation, we just bring the 0.42, well, we divide both sides by 0.42, we get x equals 12,180 divided by 0.42. So if we work that out, that gives us 29,000. So we know that the difference between 22,000 and the gross income is 29,000. So we just need to add this on to 22,000 to get the gross income. 51,000. And that answers part two of this question. So remember, the key things to remember are work your way backwards out and you find the higher tax, then divide by the rate of tax, 0.42. This will give you the, the difference between the gross income and the standard rate cutoff point. And then all you have to do is add that amount onto the standard rate cutoff point to get your gross income. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope to upload more videos before the exam this week and we'll definitely be doing videos on the Leaving Cert next year. So subscribe and make sure not to miss out on those videos. Thank you.